right, everyone. We are back with Bloodborne Episode 2. Now, I know I said I was going to show you guys what she does, but I forgot there are a few things I need to get first. So we're going to do that. We're going to pick up the Beckoning Bell and the Silencing Blank. And the old Hunter Bell. Now, I really just need to go get a few things and then we'll come right back. Well, I got greedy, ladies and gentlemen. So, basically what I'm trying to do is just get some echoes. Um, just uh, similar to Souls and Dark Souls, uh, anything like that. Um, but I need them uh, basically to do anything in this game. Uh, leveling up, purchasing items, um, anything along those lines. All are done with blood echoes. Now, I'm gonna go try to get this guy again. Um, just because I'm a glutton for punishment, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna take these guys out first, though. Okay. We're going to go give this guy a try. I got greedy and thought I had him, but then turns out I didn't. Oop. Oh, and see, his eyes are purple or red this time. Because to get my echoes back, I actually have to kill him. Oh, 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 oh. So we're going to give this guy another shot real quick. He's making it easy on me this time, which is not common. All right, so we got him, we got the echoes we lost back. Oh, and we already got a uh, bloodstone. All right, so let's keep going and getting uh, some more blood echoes.
Hey ladies and gentlemen, I think that should be enough to get a few things accomplished. Um, so we're going to head back to the lantern and see what we can do. Oh, I forgot an item back here. I may as well get it. So basically in the top right you see 2001. That's how many blood echoes I have. Um, anytime you die, um, those of you who know the game know what happens, you lose those echoes. So if you die and retrieve them, you get them back. But if you die and do not retrieve them, they are gone. So that makes for a tough situation, uh, especially with some bosses and things like that. Um, so the echoes I had when I tried to fight the cleric beast, um, since I died to that guy over there in the corner, the, the big guy, uh, they're completely gone. There's no getting them back. Um, that sucks, but uh, it's part of what makes the game fun. So we're just heading back to the lantern now. Okay. So now we're back in Hunter's Dream. So now we can talk to her. Hello, good hunter. I am a doll. Here in this dream to look after you. Honorable hunter, pursue the echoes of blood. And I will channel them into your strength. You will hunt beasts. And I will be here for you. To embolden your sickly spirit. All right, so this is where we well, let me uh, level up. Uh, so I'm gonna go some strength and skill. Uh, so that's the max we can do at the moment. Okay. And then just to get rid of as many echoes as possible, I'm going to buy some of those. Some blood vials. So this is Gehrman. Ah, you must be the new hunter. Welcome to the hunter's dream. This will be your home for now. You're sure to be oh. in a fine haze about now, but don't think too hard about all of this. Just go out and kill a few beasts. It's for your own good. You know, it's just what hunters do. You'll get used to it. Uh, so now we have where we can fortify our weapons with bloodstone um, which we oh we did have enough bloodstone shards well we'll have to come back and do that later then um, you can also repair your weapons which I have enough to do that so we'll do that uh, so I'm going to try to get us back to the cleric beast um, and I guess we will see you there. Hopefully we can beat him. You never know, though.
All right, everyone. I, when I ran to the end of the bridge um, previously, I forgot to come in and open this shortcut. So I figured I would show you guys that really quick as I airball that attack. Um, So basically, this takes us um, right back to our first lantern. Um, so we're actually going to go back to the Hunter's Dream, try to level up, and then uh, we'll see where we go from there. Okay, so one thing I should have leveled up earlier well, is my uh, endurance. Um, that's what controls how many times I can swing my weapon, how often I can dodge, uh, anything like that. Um, so that gave us enough echoes for one more level there. And then we're going to go up here. And we should be able to fortify this to Hunter Axe plus one. Yes. All right. And then that automatically repairs it. So we are going to go back down here. And now that we have that shortcut open, it'll be a lot easier to get to the Cleric Beast. But we'll do that on the next episode of Bloodborne. We'll see you guys later. If you like it, hit the like button. Um, and please subscribe. Um, later, guys.